Number 7. A truck with 0.42 meter radius tires travels at 32 meters per second. What is the angular velocity of the rotating tires in radians per second and then in revolutions per minute? All right, so here's our tire, all right, and the tire has a radius, as it told us, of 0.42 meters. It also says that the truck is moving with a velocity of 32 uh, meters per second. Now that velocity of the truck is also equal to the linear velocity or the tangential velocity at any point on this tire that is rotating, all right? So they are uh, equal in value. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to consider the question we're being asked, right? Um, what is the angular velocity? So take a look on the right-hand side, note some of the formulas that have angular velocity in them, right? This one, that one, all right? And you wanna think now to yourself, which one of those two might be best suited to help me solve the question I need to answer given the information here that I have, whoops, given the information that I have. All right, what do you think? Right. Looks like it's gonna be this equation. So let's write that. So the, the linear velocity or the tangential velocity at any point on the tire should be equal to the radius of the tire multiplied by the angular velocity of the tire. So um, make sure our units are uh, appropriate here. We wanna have consistency between the distance value and the velocity and the distance that the uh, radius is being measured in. Okay, and we do, they're both in meters. All right, so let's plug it in. So 32 point, oh, oops, 32.0 is equal to the radius, 0.42, let me make that a little neater, multiplied then by the angular uh, velocity. So simply just divide 0.42 out on both sides. Okay, 0 0.42. And then the angular velocity here will be equal to uh, 32 uh, divided by 0.42. So it comes out to about 76.2, right? So 76.2. And the units here are radians per second. Now actually, technically, radians per second. Technically, the answer, the units are actually just per second. Um, those are the SI units for angular velocity. And you can reason that out because it's meters per second divided by the unit of meters. So the meters would cancel. And this second is really in the denominator, okay? Even though it's in the denominator of the numerator, in the overall fraction, it would be considered in the denominator. Therefore, the unit would just be one over second. All right, so this is the traditional SI unit for angular velocity, but we always like to reference it. The, the uh, top unit is really dimensionless, but we like to use radians per second just because they work with all the other formulas. All right, so now, so, okay, so we got that. And now the question is, we got it in radians per second, but we need to now, the second question is, find it in revolutions per minute. So, keep one thing in mind, right? That two pi radians is equal to one revolution. All right, so we need to know that conversion. So basically, um, right, we need to convert the radian value to revolutions and then we need to convert the second value into minutes. Okay, you can do this in two separate steps and then divide the results, all right? Or we can do it all in one step. I'm just gonna do it all in one step. So start with the given value. So I'll actually do it underneath here, 76.2 radians per second, multiplied then by radians on the bottom, revolutions on the top, because I know that there are two pi radians for every one revolution. So the radians go bye-bye. And then I just have to get convert my seconds into minutes. So seconds now go on the top, right? Because I need them on the opposite side of where they are uh, originally. And then I'm thinking, do I know a relationship between seconds and minutes? And if I do, I can put the minutes on the bottom. And I do, right? That there are 60 seconds in one minute. So the seconds cancel. And now look what you're left with. Revolutions per minute. All right? So now simply just take out the calculator and do 76.2 times 60 divided by two pi. Make sure you put the two pi in parentheses. And we get a value of 728, right? Seven, when we consider significant figures, 728. And this is revolutions, whoops, revolutions per minute. And that would be the final answer.
Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. All right, please remember to subscribe. Hit that like button if you feel extra generous. And uh, appreciate it very much. And look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.